happy Sunday morning everybody. Uh, we're off out today, off to the Barbican and the hope to have a little walk around because it's absolutely beautiful weather. I've got Blue and Bear in the back. We've got a little madam there. Um, my husband's driving, man of mystery is driving. Um, so we'll be there shortly and we'll vlog a little bit while we're on the home. So see you in a bit. Just parked up and just getting a ticket and uh, then we're off for our little walk. And Blue's being a little bit impatient. I think he knows where he is. He's quite excited and squealing, squealing like a little doggy. And here we are, arrived on the home. We have had a bit of shenanigans. We finally got here, but we heard the dreaded grunting in the back seat. So that meant that Madison has just done a paquetto in her nappy. So we do what we need to do, change her, put her on the front seat. That's slightly slanted, isn't it? And today she decides to do her first solid poo, which is very exciting. So we carry on cleaning her up and then we realize that one of the turds has rolled off and onto the seat. <laughs> so now my husband has to catch a rogue turd rolling around in the car. So that was a lot of fun. It was not pleasant. Ross has caught it. Luckily enough, it didn't escape. But yeah, so that was all fun. So now we're going to have a pleasant walk on the home and forget about the rogue turd in the car. So see you in a bit. And my dad played on there with the Royal Marines band many, many years ago. Maybe like 30 years ago. But yeah, there you have it. I'd take dogs in, obviously outside, which is a nice bonus. 
talking to any people? By daddy, we are actually right by the citadel. <laughs> Come on, somebody's already learning how to be stubborn. Madison, hello, what are you doing over there? Gorgeous girl, eh? You don't look so gorgeous with that little serious face. Here we are on the top of the hoe. And this is where we have the fair sometimes. So there's concerts and graduations. There's the Tower. A lovely place for people to come up here. Bring their kids and their bikes and their scooters. We're heading home now, me, Moosey, and the guy over here. Uh, so, yeah, thank you for joining us up on the home today. We'll see you a bit later. Say so good morning. Happy Monday morning, everyone. I hope everybody's had a really lovely weekend. I know we have. We had Daddy home yesterday, so it was really nice to spend some time with him. We've got little Blue Boo. Blue Butt here. He's looking after Madison. As soon as we're on the floor, we seem to always want to be next to her. I think they're going to be best of best of friends in a few years' time when she's uh, running around. That's not going to be a few years' time, is it? <laughs> Who am I kidding? You all right, little lady? Yeah? Are you good, Kelly? Yep, she's enjoying this little walker. I think um, my family bought it for her for Christmas, so thank you so much for that. She isn't crawling yet. She doesn't seem to want to crawl, so I'm hoping that maybe this will help. She stands really solidly on her legs. Obviously, she doesn't have her balance yet, but... Um, hopefully this might help her walk instead morning. It's a beautiful day outside So I'm not sure whether we will try and venture outside today We may not We will see oh. Happy Monday again um, I'm thinking I probably won't actually nip out today I know recently I've just said I would But it's payday And I think I'm going out Just to spend money Because I can Because it's payday oh. So I think I'm going to refrain from doing that I'm going to stay in uh, we're going to have a bit of playtime, or a lot of playtime today. But I'm just going to pot around and finish off the chores. I am a bit boring, hey? But something to do. And, um, yeah, just spend the day at home. And then tomorrow, I think we'll nip out tomorrow and do something. Maybe go somewhere and actually do something. Maybe not shopping. But anyway. <clears throat> I'm doing it in there. Someone's making an appearance. <laughs> Okay, so if I don't vlog any more today, happy Monday, all of you. Um, uh, and I will catch up with you probably tomorrow. Okay, I'll leave you with my dogs playing. Like T-Rexes and dinosaurs fighting. That's what other people see them as. <laughs> I swear. But anyway, right, I'll catch up with you later. Oh, and uh, just for those of you who might have heard something in the background, yes. I am proper sad, and that is what I'm watching. For those of you who know what that is, let me know that you know what that is. It's proper sad, isn't it? I do know. Keeping the magic alive, we aren't going to get back there for a few years. And I think that... Um, I want... Thanks, Bear. Finding Crane. <clears throat> yeah, keeping the magic alive. So, this is obviously a place that you dogs want to join in. On the floor. Yeah, it's a beautiful shot of up the dog's nose is right okay well i will catch up with you um soon and uh, probably tomorrow now see you later good morning it's tuesday good morning madison anyway we're nipping into town today i know it's shopping but there are a few things i do need to get so Mum kindly offered to come with me so she'll be able to look after little Moosey while I sort a few bits out. Um, but yay, shopping. I do like shopping. Who doesn't? My husband, that's who doesn't. Anyway, we will catch up with you in a little bit. Uh oh.
Oh no, she's wrecking the joint. What are you doing, Maddie? Bringing the house down. In town now, so we are going shopping. And this little moose has fallen asleep, fast asleep. But yes, we will do our shopping. Marks and Spencer's, baby shop. Hi, Marnie, maybe? We will see. I'll probably show you what I've got when I got home. And I probably won't film whilst around the shops. It'll be a bit weird. I'll look a bit weird. And I'm pretty sure you don't want to go around the shops with me. So I'll see you in a bit. Good afternoon. So, finally home from shopping. Um, it was quite a successful trip. Um, I love, I do really, really enjoy shopping. Um, but I wasn't, we didn't stay out too long. We have the dogs at home today, so I don't like to leave them too long. And obviously don't want Madison like being dragged around all the shops. But we're finally home. I thought I'd quickly share some of the amazing finds. So I have, I think I'm going to start with the boring bits. Primark. Okay, I'm not a snob, but Primark, um, they're, they're okay for some things and okay for other things. Things that you can wear want to throw away. But I must say, these baby grows from Primark, their little vest. They're amazing. They're like £2.70 for three. And they're really like wide and easy to get over a head and on again. So highly, highly recommend them. And um, they wash really well as well, which I'm really surprised at because it's Primark. But yeah, not Primark. It's not I'm more than happy to get bits from Primark. Little tights. And they are little unicorns. And the next other pair is like, as you can see, little rainbows. And she has the most cutest dungarees, so uh, like short dungarees, so they'll look lovely underneath that. So, yay, brilliant, another buy. And socks, baby socks. Baby socks never stay on, do they? So, I picked up a little pack of baby socks and hope that they stay on. Um, probably won't, but we'll see. Um, and check these out. A little pair of sunglasses for her. You know, I absolutely adore sunglasses. Like, I don't have loads of handbags, I have sunglasses. And I don't say I have loads of sunglasses, but I really like sunglasses. Um, so, I picked up a pair, and I, I put them on her and she kept them on, so she wasn't, like, grabbing them and ripping off her face. I don't know how long that'll last, but if I can get her to wear some in the summer, that's fantastic. Primark. A pound? A pound. Bargain! Okay, so, a pair of, like, bibs, because you know my weird, weird obsession with bibs. Cheap as chips, they were, like... £2.80, happy days. Okay, and I know I say, I love Disney, there's a line, I know there's a line, but I did think this was really cute. A little mini mouse Disney throw, it's so soft. So yeah, I bought that. I'm not sure if it has for her or for me. We'll share it, we'll snuggle together. Okay, so this is the one thing I wanted to share with you today. This is amazing. You're going to be like, what are you talking about? This. Look at this. Whoa! It's the cutest little handbag ever. And yes, I know it's no longer Christmas, but next Christmas, she's going to love this. And this was in H&M, and I got it for like five pounds. Bargain! But I was thinking, we have booked a holiday to go to Centre Parks at Christmas, beginning December. And, um... We mentioned it to our family and now loads of our family are also coming, which I just, I cannot, I cannot wait to spend the time with them. And I think um, it's going to be really, really special because not only ha is it going to be like Madison's first Christmas where she's going to be more aware of what's going on, but my cousin's just had a baby and I am so excited because he's coming with his wife and his new baby and it's going to be lovely because I know there's going to be eight months between them, but still it's that baby's gonna be her name is florence what a beautiful name um they're gonna be what it's december so yeah 11 months old so they're gonna be further along than madison is now oh it's just gonna be really special it's gonna be such a fantastic holiday and then all my other family are coming along as well so my aunts and uncles it's just gonna be it's gonna be magical so really looking forward to that but yes i think it madison might appreciate a purse at that point maybe not but still it's lovely isn't it and um, another thing that we found in H&M, which was by chance, and there was one left there, was 
a Minnie Mouse baseball cap. And it's been a bit of a thing with my dad that he's been desperate to try and find her a Minnie Mouse base baseball cap. Um, and they, they were available from America. They were like $25. We'd have to get shipped. And it was a bit of faff. You don't know if it's going to fit her. I don't know the quality. So we've laughed about it. And we found a Minnie Mouse baseball cap in H&M. And that had been reduced as well. Um, Mum's taking that because she's going to go home and give it to Dad so that Dad can come home and come over and give it to Madison. Um, but yeah, so that was a real steal. I'll put a little snippet, if I can, in now. See, hopefully you'll have seen it and it's cute. If you haven't, I just look like a complete fool. That's if I can work out how to edit it in. I don't know if I can or not. But yeah, so I thought I would just share with you some of those cute little buys. Um, I did also buy some over shoulder boulder holders. You really don't need to see them, um, but from myself, obviously. Um, but I did get Madison some really lovely shampoo and conditioner and it smells divine. I don't know if anyone else has used this. There's some boots. I think it might be their own range. I'm not sure. We'll give it a go. Um, and then I just bought, well, I bought Pampers. I'm not a Pampers girl because they're really expensive, but I got a thing through the post yesterday with money off. And I went in and bought Pampers. But it was buy one, get one free. And then they took the £2 off as well. So I was quite happy with that. So I will use Pampers if I can. If not, I use like what everyone else uses, which the supermarket makes, which aren't any worse, I really don't think. Well, maybe a little, I don't, I don't know. So, but whilst I can get pampers, I will. But it's it, it's a treat, <laughs> what a treat. It's a treat for Madison to have pampers on her bum. But yeah, so anyway, that was our little shopping trip. It was really successful. We've got everything we needed to get and we've got some really lovely finds. I'm really, really happy with that little purse and the baseball cap. So. I will leave it here today and thank you so much for watching and I will catch up with you at some point tomorrow. Okay, okay. I know I finished filming for Tuesday, but I just wanted to add this little bit of footage because this is Madison eating some homemade cottage pie. Nanny made it yesterday for dinner and oh, she's going to blow. She blew. Anyway, <laughs> it's just spit on the camera. I'll sort that out in a minute. Anyway, I just wanted to say thank you, Nanny, because this is lovely. She's really, really eating it. She's at most of the pot. Um, and Madison seems to prefer the sweet stuff, which I think I think is normal for babies to prefer the sweet food to savoury things. Or maybe she's a bit like a mummy. But anyway, I'm really happy. But she's eating this. And I just wanted to share that with you. Uh, Have you just seen yourself, haven't you? Yeah? Anyway, I'll catch up with you tomorrow. Okay, so it's Madison's bath time. And I love doing this. So let's just see what, what happens when I do this. Wee! <laughs> My fluffy little helper. But that really is the last tip of the day. Hello everybody, it's uh, Wednesday afternoon and we haven't done anything much today, just the chores. I'm now trying to get Madison to do a little bit of tummy time. I've lined all the toys up in front of her, hoping to entice her forward, but uh, right now she's... Um, <laughs> She's giving up by the looks of things. Anyway, we don't have much planned today at all. I think we're just going to say a quick hello. And, uh, but we will be doing some bits tomorrow. That's better, girlie. Yeah. So, yeah, we probably won't catch up with you much uh, today, if not at all. So we will speak to you tomorrow. And that's a lovely smile, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> See you in a bit. Because I shut the door, he thinks he's shut out, bless him. He just pushed the door open and popped his head through, look. Oh, please, mummy, let me in. <coughs> oh, come on, then. Can you come? <laughs> Maybe Blue will help you move forward. We'll encourage you to move forward. Blue, come over here. 
blue. What's the mat doing? Good boy. Right, Miss Moose. I'm going to call you Misty then. Come on, Moose. See if you can crawl forward. No. Okay, it's come to help as well. Right. Hello. So, I know I just said there'd be no more videos for today, for Wednesday, but I just managed to catch a bear. Uh, letting herself in from the back garden into the kitchen and it's something special but it's quite clever so I thought I'd share that with you so I'm going to pop that in in the next clip and uh, that that really will be it for Wednesday and we will catch up with you tomorrow. Good Thursday morning to you all. So today I am up out without Madison, no dogs, I'm on my own. Uh, Ross has um, a few days off work, so I've left him uh, in bed. He's still, well, he's awake, Madison's still asleep. Um, but I am off to see a musical director who is absolutely amazing. Um, and we are about to go through some work, some music, uh, as I have a part in a show that's up and coming soon. So he's going to help me with that. The part is actually written for a man, um, but they decided to cast myself in the role. So um, for anyone who is musically minded, that creates some difficulties because obviously the piece is written for a man and therefore the placement in my voice is either going to be low or high. So we're working out where we're going to place that. For those of you who don't, understand music uh sorry because that probably doesn't mean anything to you but yeah so it should be um an exciting morning because i can finally set uh what i'm actually singing i mean i know what i'm singing i know the tune mostly know the rhythm um and whatnot but it's just where it's going to sit anyway enough of musical talk we will come back to this soon i will talk about um the show and the part uh because it's a huge, huge part of our lives, um, which I have failed to mention yet. Anyway, I will catch up with you soon. I'll see you on the other side. All a little bit of a rush, but I'm home from rehearsals and we're now taking the dogs out. I'll catch up with you in a bit when we're out. Right, we have arrived. I'm going to get my welly, Wellington boots on and I will jump out and let the dogs out. Here they are, ready to go. So today I've hired the field to let the huskies off and have a good run and Misty is with us, our Bedlington Whippet, um, not mine, my mum and dad's. So it's really nice to come up here because we can't let Bear and Blue off the lead, um, neither of them have a recall or very little recall and um, so it's just not safe to let them off whilst we're in public places but here it's brilliant because they've got a massive run as you can see. Okay, behind me. Let's see how big it is. Good evening all. Um, so today you saw us out walking the dogs in the field. Oh, I wasn't really walking. They were running in the fields having a lot of fun. Um, just come home and chilled out this afternoon. And that's about it. So I thought I'd quickly pop on and say good night. And my husband is cooking a nice meal this evening. We haven't sat down really properly and had a proper meal for quite some time because sometimes he works late and sometimes at rehearsals and so on and so forth. So we are going to have dinner and just chill out this evening. So we will catch you tomorrow. 
Good Friday morning, everybody. So today we have a few plans. Um, weirdly, I am in my bathroom doing this, um, but we're going swimming. So I have I washed my hair, but I've just put it in that because obviously it's going to go everywhere when we're in the pool. So we're taking Madison swimming for the second time. Um, obviously, she's had lots of baths and she enjoys the water. So fingers crossed she's going to enjoy that. We've got like a, a yellow float thing that she can sit in. So hopefully that will be a little bit more successful than last time because she was really small last time. So we just had to hold her. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to that and seeing how she reacts. Look at the amount of baggage we have. It looks like we're going on holiday. We're going swimming. Is this normal? We saw Tash Leisure Centre, that was a really lovely swim with the babies. Now we're going to find somewhere to eat. Good morning everyone, it's Saturday morning um, and I didn't film last night, I forgot to finish off everything that we were doing, we were so busy. So just a quick recap, yesterday we went swimming as you know and it was really lovely, Madison thoroughly enjoyed herself, you could see her really being quite comfortable in the water um, and we had her in the ring and we took her out of that and both she was really comfortable splashing about, we even like dunked her a little bit under, not like her whole head but dunked her up to her eyes and she was fine, like didn't even really flinch about that so I'm really really pleased and thoroughly looking forward now to taking a swimming again um we were lucky because we had um my sister-in-law with us as well and she was taking her baby for the first time so we were lucky to have experienced that with them as well it's so nice they um went with us when we first took Madison swimming and so it's really nice to be able to be there for Huxley for his first swimming session he wasn't so sure but he's only like three and a bit months so what can you expect really but he will definitely be a water baby just like his brother because his mum she's an exceptional swimmer so they'll be just like like their aunt or their mother it's auntie Beth and Madison so anyway um we came home, well, we didn't, we went out for dinner afterwards. That was really nice. We spent a good, good few hours nattering away with uh, Bethan, with Auntie Bethan, um, and came home. And then I had a baby shower online for one of my friends. She is pregnant, obviously, and due at the end of February. So a couple of her lovely friends, they arranged like a virtual baby shower. Um, and it was really lovely. It was really nice. A really pleasant hour or so, just... Uh, well, my friend, she lives in New Zealand, she's my bestie, and I've known her for, for such a long time. We always wanted to be pregnant together, and it just, obviously for me, never worked out. And um, But technically, she pointed out, technically, we were pregnant, like whilst right at the very end of my pregnancy, and it would have been right at the beginning of her pregnancy. So technically, we were pregnant together. But anyway, her husband um, put the like zoom on for her put some banners up and balloons and came you know she got brought to the computer and all of her like UK friends and her um, sisters were on there as well so bless her she had a few tears and then I had a few tears because she was having a few tears because it's uh, happy tears emotional tears I miss her dearly um but she won't she won't be coming back to the UK they absolutely love it out in New Zealand and they're such a beautiful family and they really suit that kind of lifestyle out there they're having a fantastic time but yeah so we had um a baby shower just some games um like a little quiz and what have you on on there and that was really lovely so like brilliant for their friends to organize that for her and so lovely to see her um, but that was it uh, my husband oh yeah my husband though he went to bed super early because today Chelsea are playing Argyle so Argyle is our local team and Chelsea is my husband's favorite team hmm and he also supports Argyle because obviously they're local so yeah today's going to be an interesting game but he's going to be happy either way isn't he? he's going to walk away happy I think we know which way it's going to go sadly it would be a miracle and it would be amazing for Argyle to win but um, chances are pretty slim, aren't they, sadly? But anyway, so he did that. He went to bed because he was up at like quarter to two, no, quarter to three this morning to get ready and get going because he's going up and back in the day. So yeah, anyway, I'm going to leave it there. I just want to say thank you so much for the people who've joined me on this vlog and this um, journey. 
Um, I'm really enjoying doing it. I'm not sure people are enjoying watching it, but if you are, you know, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I know a lot of you are probably my family and friends. If you're not my family and friends, please put uh, a comment in the like comments box, which I think you can do on YouTube now. I know that. Um, you know, just say hi. It'd be lovely to see if there are people out there that, you know, I don't know, um, but are following. Anyway, have a fantastic weekend and I will catch up with you all next week. See you later.